Hello guys and welcome to the Silver Bullet Experience. Um, really quick, before we get it, uh, the video started, um, I just want to go ahead and reference that my channel will no longer be the Eating Juggernaut. I will no longer be doing mukbangs or anything on, uh, on this channel. This is going to be a channel that's going to be um, talking about finance, economics, politics, uh, current events, cryptocurrency and uh, some controversial subjects as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I thought during this time of uncertainty and economic turbulence and all, all these uh, political things that are going on, I thought I would just share some of my opinions. Uh, these are things that if you've been watching me for a while, I have, you know, kind of talked about these subjects um, during my mukbangs and everything. It is an interest that I have. Um, I do have a disclaimer on my uh, about me that I'm not any way a financial advisor. I do not, um, I do not have, I'm not trying to, um, you know, have any uh, financial advice or anything like that. I'm just sharing my opinions and they should just be looked at as entertainment purposes only. And like I said, that's on my disclaimer on my about me uh, for my channel. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. This today's video is going to be about what's the difference between a round, a bar, and a coin. As you can see, I have all three in my portfolio. And uh, at the end of the video, we'll go say ahead and um, say which one's better or uh, which one is my preference, really. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Right off the bat, the first one up is a round. Now the reason why this is a round and not a coin is because it's made from a private mint. It's not issued by any government. The mint is Scottsdale, Scottsdale Mint. Their logo is the lion. As you can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful round. There is the thickness. And then there is the back. Now this one's a little bit unique because this is not a one ounce round. This is actually kind of an odd weight for silver. It is a two ounce round. Silver today is roughly about $25 an ounce. So which puts this at about $50 or so what it's worth is. Now this has no denomination attached to it. it it's not legal tender, but you can, it is worth what its weight is in silver, which is about $50 in today's market. You could go ahead and buy this from a pawn shop if they happen to have metal. Um, coin shops is where you can buy them as well and online dealers like AppMax, SD Bullion, stuff like that. I've been doing business with uh, both of those online dealers for, for years and they are very, very good. Next up, we have a silver bar. Johnson Matthey. This is also made by a private mint. It is not issued by a government. This is a one ounce bar. Very thin, you can kind of see in the plastic though. Um, the thing about this is they no longer make these bars, so these are a little bit more sought after and uh, they uh, demand a higher, a uh, little bit higher of a value than say a regular typical bar that's still made. Um, it's very nice. These one ounce bars are highly sought after by silver stackers. They like the one ounce, the five ounce, and the 10 ounce. Next up, we have a coin. Now this is a coin because it is actually issued by a, a government, the United States government. This is the most highly sought after silver um, coin or bar or any round for that matter uh, for uh, silver stackers. This does have this. The reason why it's highly sought after is because just about anybody will accept it when you try and sell it. Uh, they do have a little bit higher premium because they are attached to the uh, the um, American government. And they just have a beautiful design. Now the thing about this is this actually has a denomination attached to it. It is legal tender. Um, so you could actually go into a store, a store, drop this on the counter and buy something with it. 
I wouldn't recommend you do that. The reason being is because it is only $1 legal tender. But the silver content alone is worth $25. So you would essentially be giving, you know, dropping $25 worth of silver to buy something from the Dollar Tree or something. I would not recommend that, but you could do that if you would want to because it is legal tender. It is issued by the American government. Very nice. Now, I think 2021, This they've had this design for years, decades. I think uh, 2021, they are changing the design, so I will be buying that because I like to get, um, I always like to buy, um, you know, uh, the Silver Eagles. These are called Silver Eagles um, every year. So, and the, the, this one's actually a little bit unique too, is I don't know if you can see it, but the, the date, the year is 2020. I bought this during a silver shortage when, uh, you know, the virus hit. Um, and they had a shortage. They weren't minting these. So I went ahead and bought what I could. And these are probably going to have a little bit higher premium when I sell them because they were made during a year where there was a, a silver shortage. So as you can see, I have all three in my portfolio. I do have rounds, I do have bars, and I do have uh, coins. Now, one necessarily isn't better than the other. I mean, if if all the this, if for the exception of this, this is a two ounce round, so it's worth more than these one ounce uh, coin and bar. But if this was all, if this was also a one ounce, um, they they still have the same silver content in it. Still one ounce of silver, just boils down to preference. Um, me personally, I like the silver bars. I don't know, I'm just drawn to them. They're really cool. You know, it's not like a regular coin or, you know, a dollar bill or anything. It's just kind of unique to me. I like the bars. Um, I do have different size bars in my portfolio. Maybe in a uh, later video, I could show you some of those different size bars. Um, you know, some pe some other silver stackers might like the rounds, you know, something that's not made by a, uh, a government. It's just made by a privately owned mint on, you know, and like I said, the, usually what's the most desirable is the silver eagles, which I have, you know, a decent amount in, in my portfolio as well. So, um... But yeah, that, that's going to be the video for today. I was just going to discuss what the difference between a round, a bar, and a coin is. Um, if you guys um, have any interest in this, let me know. Um, if you have any questions, I can try and answer them as best I can. You can let me know which one you found, um, which one you like the best, whether it's you just like the design or you like the information that I told you the difference between a round and a coin or whatever it may be. Um, go ahead and let me know. Uh, also, you can go ahead and put down um, in the comments what videos you would like to see me make in the future. Uh, like I said, this channel is going to be mainly on economics, politics, finance, um, current events, no longer eating. So, um, cryptocurrency as well. So anyways, uh, go ahead and let me know. Um, drop me a comment and a like. And hopefully I was able to uh, teach you guys something. Uh, go ahead and, um, you know, uh, like I said, just go ahead and send me any questions or anything. I can answer them as the best of my ability. And, uh, remember by no means am I, uh, throwing out there any financial advice, just all my opinion. So, um, go ahead and stay safe. Um, and I will see you on the next video. All right. See you later guys. Bye.